Hello my people, now welcome back again to my channel. I greet all of you according to our time. On a good morning, good afternoon, and good evening. So if today na the first time when you they come, thank you so much. I really appreciate say you see this channel. I beg before you go, make you like this video. I may you see subscribe to my channel so that we go they grow together. And for this channel, I they talk mainly about different ethnic groups when they for Nigeria, okay? We they go from state to state and the different tradition, their culture and everything when they do when make the day unique. So now are they talk about worry? Worry when they talk about so so many of us they stay for worry, but we not really know if somebody just call us come outside to come and say, I beg you, in three sentences, tell us what you know about worry. They're not go fit talk. That's why it good say make with they learn about the places when we they stay. So that when outsider asks you say, I beg go, this worry one they hear but worry worry. What do you know? Some people know if you talk pass, worry no they agree. Worry no they carry last. Uh, for worry, na pigeon English, you know, na be their main language when they speak together, you know. So, so many people don't know anything when they happen for worry, including the indigenous of worry. That's why I come out with this one. So, I go to divide that for inside two video because it's too long. If I do one straight, on I no go to enjoy them. So, I go to cut them into two. Okay? So, the first thing, when they talk about a lot of worry, it don't tell when they talk about a lot of worry. Now, now, one of the pinpoints when I be like, say, when people come worry, they won't know about them. So I won't talk about all these things today. Okay, so I go they start. You go know everything you suppose know for this video. At the kingdom of worry they start and some more history about the title Olu of Worry. You know, say so many people that they talk say ah that title is not supposed to be Olu of Worry now Olu of Ishakiri. Why many people they say no? They not like us Olu of Worry because he get different tribe when they for worry. Ishakiri is so called day, is your day, and Urobo day. And if you look at Ishekiri na the minority, there are not too many like that. And secondly, for inside the worry gongo when we they stay, na different ethnic group na in day for the worry. So many people they say that they against them. Many ethnic group that they against them. Why that they against them be say they say if you call out law of worry, it means say a law of worry. Since it be say a three ethnic group na in day for the worry, it means say the olu he cover Urobo, he cover his, uh, his job, he cover his so people, which not supposed to be like that according to the way that they debate the matter. They say every is supposed to be Olu of Ishekiri because now lay inside, now it be Olu, now it be king over them, you understand? Because the Urobo people, they get Uvie, and Ishekiri, uh, is your people, they still get their own. So now the debate, so for all this thing, why they talk? On I go come here everything for this video today. So I go they start. On I no say I go they read that for English so that other people when they won't learn about worry, they go still understand what here they talk. Because not be everybody now they hear the pigeon. The pigeon English now only for Nigeria. So I go they use English so that they go here. I beg make on listen as I they start now. Nigeria, like other countries, has a diverse culture. Traditions that span centuries and a history that speaks a lot about the region. A city worth talking about would be Wari. In southern Nigeria, Wari has become a major hub for petroleum businesses and has a population of about 898,902, according to the nation census in 2021. Despite it being a city by itself, a kingdom has been a perennial part of this location for hundreds of years. It is led by the Olu of Wari. The kingdom has flourished amidst the challenges that inevitably happened as years pass by. Now, let me tell you about the Olu of worry, okay, and how the kingdom it started. 
just small small things a king or olu you know a lot of people don't know so olu is a king okay so a, a king or olu it he rules over the Ishekiri people the olu of worry of course lives in a place that not only serves as a resting place and seat of power but also plays as the host for multiple cultural presentations and festivals celebrated by the inhabitants of Wari. One might be confused if the Ishekiri and Bini tribes are the same. They are not. However, some of their traditions and cultures have similar distinctions. Now, I want to tell you guys how the kingdom of Wari started. Mekunahiera. The Shekiri and Bini have a legend about the origins of the kingdom. In this legend, one will learn that the place has a different name called Iwere. In any case, in the year 1480, a Bini priest named Ginua founded the Iwere kingdom. He then built the Olu of Wari Palace on the said location. Now, you know why the Bini and Ishekiri people have traditions slightly similar to one another. Basically, the people now known as the Ishekiri tribe branched out from the Bini tribe through Prince Ginua. Legends has it that the Oba of Bini sent the prince to the place that later on became known as Wari because of a plot to kill the prince. Even though the reason for the prince's departure has a grim note to it, everything turned out well because they even served as the reason for the founding of the kingdom of Wari, and the prince became its very first Olu. Also, Ode Ishekiri is the location where the palace was built. I want to tell you guys now about the um, a brief history about the title Olu of Wari. Una won here and be okay. I won't tell Unana. The traditional ruler of the kingdom of Wari has another name, Ogiame. In the Nigerian dialect, this name means king of water. Very aptly named since numerous bodies of water surround the kingdom. Needless to say, the Olu of Wari has the highest authority within the Ishekiri people. Anything that the Olu says can become a law that the Ishekiri has to follow. He also has the sole power to appoint all of the kingdom's advisors and leaders. Do take note though that the king used another title before being called the Olu of Wari up until 1950s. The king used the title Olu of Ishekiri. However, the Western Nigeria government decided to change that title to the Olu of Wari after heeding the Ishekiri's request. Since then, things did not transition smoothly because the other ethnic people in the region, like the Urobo and Ijo, among others, objected to the ruling. They pointed out that the change suggested that the Olu now ruled all of Wari and not just the Ishekiri, having other ethnic groups in Wari where the Ishekiris are minor. Let me tell you guys the design of the Olu Palace in Wari. Are you surprised to see that the appearance of the Olu Palace looks European made like other palaces? Not all parts of the building can be assessed by the general public. After all, the Olu resides here and some amenities of the palace can only be used by the king. Various holy chambers in the palace are inaccessible as well. Of course, the palace underwent multiple redesigns and upgrades after a new king went to succeed in the previous one. This made the palace model-looking and goes 
with the times as one would say now i will tell you guys why does the olu palace have a european feel to it a little time after the establishment of the kingdom worry became the host for some portuguese missionaries in the 15th century this started the christianization of some of the kingdom's people why others still stood by their traditional beliefs during the 17th century the ruling olu of worry sent his son to portugal when the crown prince returned to his homeland he brought with him a wife of portuguese heritage she bore him a son and named him Oye Nakbara. This crown prince and future Olu of Wari came to be known as Don Antonio Domingo. So, more Wari Portugal connections. Let me tell you guys about it. Erejua, the Olu of Wari that ruled around the 1760s, aimed to gain more land for the kingdom using Portugal's support. He also wanted Wari to become more independent from Benin. So, he made arrangements so that the kingdom would have more political influence and exude more value over other countries. In the later years, Wari gained another foreign supporter when the people from the Liderlands, along with the Portuguese, made worry as their station for the tra slave trade so my people are going to stop here because i don't want me long if you won't watch the other uh, places like as worry to become a sport about the olu of worry palace other things i go tell you now you understand okay the palace which it serves as which kingdom is ruled by the olu I'll tell you now those things, you know, for the other video. I beg if you don't watch me this time, God bless you. And I beg, like this video, may you subscribe to my channel. I will see you for another video. Bye.